base here is because they have a blue base over there. And the only reason they have a blue base over there is because we have a red base here. Yeah, that's because we're fighting each other. Yeah, so this is a question uh, that I've gotten not only from other people that aren't in the military, but even from people on uh, the boat itself, the, my command, and that is why? Why does my job even exist? Why do we go around in the ocean trolling around carrying nuclear missiles to rain hell upon whoever dares, yada yada yada. Anyway. I try to keep it short. If I run out of this road, I'm gonna cut the video without making it not. So I should probably stop wasting time. Anyway, so uh, the, the 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 answer, the normal answer, is nuclear deterrence. Essentially, I'm we go out to do our job in case of a nuclear attack against either America or any of America's allies. And, and there are specific allies that we have treaties with that we cover. Uh, one of them's Japan, and I don't know any of the other ones, honestly, off the top of my head. It's not really that relevant. Uh, and then the, the follow-up question to that is always this. It's, um, but we have nuclear silos, you know, all over the country. We could hit any target from those silos. So again, why are we wasting money on you? Well, they don't say wasting money, but it's usually more of, so why do they have to force you guys to go and do this type of thing? And the answer to that one is, is you, you just answered it. You, a civilian, knows that we have those silos. You know the general area of where they're at. Other militaries basically know exactly where they're at. So where do you think the first place that they're gonna attack is? They're going to attack those silos. They're going to get rid of that so that we can't counterattack. So if you have mobile silos, submarines, in the ocean where nobody knows where they're at, even the crew, as, um, as a sonar tech, I have a pretty high clearance level, a decently high, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to say what it is, but I have a decently high clearance level. And uh, just being, you know, my normal day-to-day -day job underwater, I don't know where the hell we're at. I, like, I have no idea where our, our waters are actually at. So what that creates is a, a an effect where, you know, nobody's going to be willing to take that risk because if you do the research or if you know anything about the military or, or, wep or nuclear weapons, one of our boats is technically the most powerful weapon that any any military employs in the world. There, there is nothing technically, and there's nothing technically more powerful than a, a U.S. Navy ballistic submarine. There, it just doesn't exist. There's nothing with that much firepower. One of our boats technically, again, I keep saying technically, I keep saying the same words over and over again. Technically, technically. But um, one of the boats, uh, raw firepower, is capable of essentially ending the world. If, if I forgot what the whole, there's a, a thing like if you blow up enough t uh, TNT in the atmosphere or something, you'll create a permanent nuclear winter or so, something or other like that. Pretty much our boats are capable of doing that. You know, obviously we don't use them and we've never once launched a real one, but that that's why they're there is so that we never, it's like that stupid saying, why do you learn karate? Because you know it's like fight so I don't have to fight. That's why we have uh, these, these submarines out there is so that yeah, we go to war, we have these little conflicts, and I say little, but you know, a lot of people die, but in comparison to widespread nuclear fallout, they're little. And that's why we have all of these submarines out there uh, taking your husband's, son's, boyfriend's away for, you know, three plus months at a time, is so that we don't have to worry about a nuke ever dropping ever again. Even, you know, even though we were the ones that did it, the, the, <laughs> but we never have to worry about it happening again. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically, essentially, technically why uh, submarines like mine exist. Now the other submarines, um, fast attack submarines as they're called, and uh, Virginia's and well, Virginia's 688s and uh, Virginia 688 and Sea Wolves are all considered fast attacks. 
and they have a completely different mission than mine. Uh, they don't carry ballistics like that. Uh, they, it's more of like uh, being front lines, scouts and things like that. They go in and do little espionage missions and junk and whatever. I, I'm not a fast fast boat sailor. I don't I don't I honestly don't know. I don't want to be one either because their sleeping setup is way worse than mine is, and I like to have my own fucking bed. Yeah, so, that is why the U.S. Navy employs SSBNs, otherwise known as boomers. That's why we exist, is essentially to make sure that nuclear war never happens. And whenever I think about it, like, whenever I, like, think about what my boat specifically does, it makes me think of uh, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Because that's the whole reason for creating the Peace Walker was to to retaliate against anyone who uses ballistics. But then in, in the whole you know, Metal Gear is confusing if you don't know. I'm not going to go into that. I was just explaining my job. God damn it! I left my jacket open again. I have this terrible habit. If when I stop to do something, I leave my jacket open. But anyway, running on now. I'm not going to be long-winded this time. All right. So guys, that was this week's episode of Navy Life. It was just me explaining why my job exists. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or any, well, you can leave any comments below. If you have any questions, you can leave them below. You can send me a message. You can send me a private message on armoto.net. Go check that website out if you haven't yet. Uh, well, if you haven't and you're watching this video, then you already have. I don't know why I said it. it's kind of redundant. But if you're just seeing this video, whatever, uh, go check out that site. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.